kids are so capable. They don't have a lot of the hangups that adults have, and they're just like, we're gonna try to make this really cool, wonderful thing work, and what they come up with, it's so creative. I do get surprised. The default way of teaching is to teach the way that you were taught. To veer from that is kind of scary because you don't know if that's gonna work. I'm Chris Bartlow, and I teach computer science at Wilson High School. And I'm Nick Nunner, and I teach computer science. And, and we, we are Allen Distinguished, Distinguished Educators. Educators. What me and Chris have been trying to do is to take the standards that we need to teach and try to pair them to student interest. When people say computer science class, all they really think of is people sitting in front of a desk and just doing this, right? I think that's the exact opposite of what we're doing. If anything, we're more creative. Instead of having our students take tests and quizzes, we want them to produce projects. Coming up with just ideas and building, it's so fun. If you start with kind of all the boring stuff and don't necessarily build up the love of computer science, you kind of are in danger of excluding a large population of, of students. We decided to take them right into making their own games and kind of pursuing some of their own interests through computer science. We have kids that are so creative but they don't have a way to express themselves and so they can make these crazy programs that, you know, share a big piece of themselves out. The game that we made is called Flyer 22, so it's a kind of like a flight simulator game where you're trying to fly around, shoot monsters down. The stigma around computer science is that it's only for males. We have a lot of students in our program that kind of disprove that. Video games now are, you know, it's about 50-50 girls and guys playing video games. So that's not so ostracizing anymore. It's a game of ships where you name your ship and then you have to be able to move it. I was certainly afraid that because I didn't spend my entire childhood playing video games, I would have no idea what we were doing. You can be really creative. I look forward to this class a lot. It's the best day of the week. So we're making cribbage. It's a card game. And so this right here is just the gameplay. We're just typing in the cards that they're being played. I thought computer science was going to be a lot more difficult than it was when I started out. I still think people in the class are more advanced than I, but it's not a problem, if that makes sense. It helps, because if there's anything that I need help with, other people can help me. Yeah. Oh, it works. How do you fix the I don't know, but it works. I don't think that I'm going to be a computer science major, but I think that the skills that I have learned through like the problem solving, the syntax of the coding, I think that that can help me with the major I'm going to do, which is engineering. This is a creative space. Everybody's inventing, creating, and making stuff. They're ambitious and bold, and to me that's like one of my proudest things. 